Scorpio, this is Sha, and this is your reading for the 9th to the 15th of March and I'm first going to do a crystal ball reading perhaps you might are a cross watcher and you have already seen your rising sign or your moon sign so I'm going to clean it first of all it is a smoky quartz and it comes from the Himalayas I've been given this by my darling sister and it's really magic let's have a look I'm cleaning it because it's got the energy in from Libra perhaps you might see something in the ball that I might miss So let's have a look. Ooh, we're beginning with a cluster. So there is a lot of things happening for you, Scorpio. That is what I'm seeing. Um, also, old things coming back. That is what I'm seeing. Uh, perhaps you're trying, you find it hard to balance things up. There's also a lot of new things happening, and it is is it is as if it is in layers um, you know uh, they say it never rains it storms so before one thing finishes there's already something else happening uh, it, it's like it's also connected with each other uh, the old and the new perhaps you like to improve the on the old like uh, habits perhaps you like to improve like if you're trying to stop smoking you've stopped smoking and then you go back to smoking and then you try something else my advice is also take a bit of a rest take a break and don't do everything all at once it will become clear to you when you've taken a break and you've rejuvenated I think you've also got too much stress in your life as too many things are happening at the same time you can't you, uh, I also see a cross like when you have an orange or a mandarin and you uh, take it in the half and then a quarter I feel as if you are splitting up in four different regions work home front hobby and friends perhaps perhaps you can't balance it all perhaps you need to take time make a choice and take time out for friends there might be something new starting like I said a lot of things happening all at once so I think you have to make your priority otherwise you're going to get knotted up caught up and then uh, you might have a burnout I also see a hole although this crystal ball is solid I still see a hole if you're not careful you're going to fall into the hole and you won't get clarity anymore so I also see a bird I see a bird like a triangle you know when you draw a bird the the wings go like that um, I'll see whether I can get a piece of paper like a bird this is what I'm seeing like a V um, so you might be getting news this could be about a new job um, as the, you have a lot of things going on it's action 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 and then I have to think about the night of rods the night of um, staves he brings you news it could be an Aries a Sagittarius or a Leo that might be bring bringing you news um, or you might be meeting up definitely I see a bird flying there will be a reflection I also see a reflection of an old square I don't know what a square means to you but it could be somebody that is a square or is you know old-fashioned some there will be a reflection perhaps an aspect of your a facet of your life your character might be um, 
that you're old fashioned a square that's what we used to say in, in England a square um, and you can't uh, you can't step away from that old tradition and see a new perspective you might have invested in something because I also see a cone and a cone like a tower is growing um, I think you might have invested in something and that will bring its return perhaps that is the news about your investment there could be a birth there could be a birth because I also I keep on seeing this triangle I think I saw a triangle either for Libra or uh, Leo Uh, you'll be start. Uh, you'll be shining like a star. You really will. Something I also see an open circle, like I saw the hole. I think you're going to do something about it. You're going to fill the hole. You're not going to. It's not um, stealing from Peter to pay Paul. No, you're going to be solid. Uh, it's more you're going to take, get your priorities right and something is coming full circle and you're going to stop with something and you're going to carry on with something with an investment or there will be a new investment returning and the money that you get from an investment into a new investment so you are going to expand you're going to go and I see horizon so you will be expanding your horizons you'll be branching out that's another way of saying it as I also see branches and leaves watch out your health though watch out your health you'll be getting you've got the neatest touch you will everything you touch will turn to gold because I'm seeing also gold gold little glitter it's glitter and little bits will become large things you'll be seeing be seeing return of investments okay Scorpio it is a long time coming perhaps but you will see returns um, I'm using the angel feather deck um, at the end of the reading and the Archangel Metatron I've made reviews on these as well and I'm uh, also using the enchanted tarot um, dream tarot and I've met I love this card and it is the International Women's Day today so it is gigantic uh, I didn't even know that day existed that these cards purely rep represent the female side and femininity <coughs> sorry sorry I just get a bout of coughing sorry just got some water down me right so like I said uh, this deck is made by uh, Yasmin Westwood and that awesome I've also made a review and it's a great success this deck to work with because they give such beautiful messages besides that deck I have a new deck and that's the house of shadows if you like the Adams family then have a look at the review you'll uh, you'll have a you'll enjoy it it is just a quirky deck and it's lovely it's very humorous and I admire uh, Monica uh, Boetsky um, that she can put humor down onto paper and, and give us images she must be a a beautiful lady a great to have a great sense of humor this deck has got f uh, five more cards first of all we've got the coffin secondly we've got the spider everybody's getting the spider today nearly everybody and then we have the lantern one of the new ones okay one of the new ones let me shake the deck let me um, just let me shake the deck I don't know sometimes I go into a dreamy state <laughs> and you've got the anchor okay and then shake it again 
shake it again. Let's see what is at the bottom. Ooh, you've got the lily. I'm going to cut the deck a couple of times and then I'm going to shake the deck. I've been using these quite a bit and I enjoy them so much. Although they're big, um, they are beautiful. But the gild is coming off at the corners, by the looks of it. And there is a video out there with updates and what is coming. Oh no, the gild is not coming. Yes, slightly here. And that's with the new cards. If you do use them a lot, the first card is the Eight of Swords. Then you've got the Ten of Swords. And then you've got the Emperor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Scorpio, you have a lot of clarity or justice things. Okay. And then you've got the High Priestess. Let's see what is at the bottom. Ooh, judgment. Yes, judgment, judge, 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 judge. Judicial, there might be judicial things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, it might sound really bad, but usually it doesn't sound as, is, it isn't as bad as it sounds. Okay. Ooh, you've got victory, big time. Look at that, the Ace of Swords means victory and you might be starting a new study as the swords stand for wisdom communication and justice justice legal legalities so it could be municipalities you might be starting work in a municipality this could be in the government or the legal system anything that is of an in institutional nature usually to do with law it could be a doctor it could be a parking a ticket attendant it could be a social worker they all have to know the letter of the law there is a new beginning there is an ending and a new beginning and clarity is coming your way you are no longer studying you finished your study but you might uh, start a new study to get expertise, become the expert. But you do have victory if you are in a judicial situation. You will get clarity and you will have victory, big time. You could also be meeting a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarian and you might have a new beginning with them. You might be working with them. You might be uh, starting a new relationship or a friendship with them. Here you see a, a little person in a book. I just wonder. He's reaching out to the coffin. So you might have done a study and you're reaching out to the world to get your victory. Wow! Nice one. I told you it wouldn't be as bad as it seems in the first thing. It's just exciting. Okay, then you've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Here she is stabbed in the back. Somebody might have stabbed you in the back and done you wrong. Well, bad luck for them because you've got victory. Ah! And not only that, but there is an ending, like I said, where you've got big time ending and you're going to have a beautiful new beginning. You've got wisdom. You've gathered wisdom and life experience and you have the justice because you stayed true to yourself and you have been honest and remained honest. There will be news. This is the, you've got the rider. There might be a visit. Or you might be going on a visit but definitely there is news quick news it could come through the air email text message or telephone because you've got the swords also hanging around here messages were brought by the rider because uh, in the 16th and the 17th century because there was no internet or telephone lines then we've got the Emperor and the emperor, the emperor is just like a judge. 
like I said, if you're in a judicial situation, you might be a judge and you might be meeting an Aries. The judge could be an Aries or the advocate could be um, um, the advocate or the lawyer could be an Aries. That's a fire sign. And the fire signs are in a lot of ways the same as the swords. They're swift. They're logical. They will take time and think uh, things through logically. But the um, king of swords, he will cut straight through to the core. He does things with more haste, perhaps a bit hard-handedly, but he will cut boom heels quicker he won't stop to think because he knows the letter of the law but it's you know there is a saying do things in haste repent in leisure so make sure you know what the story is so that you can get victory and then you've got the lantern and the lantern yeah well this reminds me of the hermit take time out and the lamp will show the way the light on the path Sorry, I just had to stop there, uh, Scorpio, because I'm editing at the same time. So I will edit the music, um, but I'm going to go back to the lantern. It is number 38, and 3 and 8 is 11, so you've got an angel number, so your angels have your back covered. And because the angels have your back covered, they are also number 11 is the porthole of the angels to walk through new beginning. You have your victory. Now uh, this is a new deck for me so I don't know the lantern very quickly. I've just given you my definition of the lantern. It will show you light on your path and the way forward. And it is also looking, uh, uh, it's, like I said, take time out. It reminds me of the hermit. And the hermit always seeks uh, um, answers when he goes into the quiet mode, do his retreat, meditation or contemplation. Perhaps you need to contemplate as well. Let's see what the um, lantern means. The lantern will light your way when you are in the dark. What, what did I say? This card shows up when the time is right to seek spiritual or esoterical enlightenment and knowledge that you are longing for. There you go. And it's just beneath the emperor. That could be an advocate or a lawyer or a jurist. You need more information in order to get that victory because somebody's done you wrong big time. <clears throat> Often night time and dreams are where you will receive spiritual messages like I said, like the hermit. A candle meditation may be called for. Sit with a candle to meditate or to contemplate or to just think, okay? To meditate on what is you truly, what is it that you truly want and which way to move forward, like the light will show you the light on the path, the way forward. This may take a little time and this may all, and this may be the time of transformation and perhaps a pilgrimage. Perhaps you need to go somewhere where you've been before to refresh your memory. Perhaps you had an argument or you had a fight um, at work in the storeroom and you have to go back to the storeroom and see the picture again and, and perhaps you might remember the words that were said. This could be um, good for your evidence to have um, in evidence if you have to go to court or if you speak to your lawyer so that you can get that new beginning look new the death card transformation transformational time new beginning new beginning the new the new beginning the doorway that the angels are giving you are coming in your strength my dear listen to your gut feeling and you've got the high priestess number two oh sorry number eleven Again, that 
sacred number, the doorway. The High Priest S. You listen to your intuition, listen to new dreams whilst you're in uh, sitting down and contemplating. Okay, or when you're sleeping, uh, keep a diary next to your bed and write down those ideas that if you wake up then you can write down your dreams if you remember them. The High Priestess also represents the moon and um, the moon uh, is a uh, the moon sign like the moon card represents Pisces and they're very spiritual people. Um, so you might also be meeting a Cancer so listen to your intuition, okay? The Cancer might help you because the High Priestess has the universe knowledge because this is the scroll behind her. She and also it could be the pillars because usually there is pillars in the traditional tarot. Now here it is, it looks like the pillars but it is also, it looks like the scroll of life and that is called the Torah. Okay, she will keep quiet, she will gather her knowledge, she watches, she watches everything like they say, she watches the cat out of the tree. She says nothing until the time is right. So hold on for dear life. And are you going to win? Have you got a question? And if you're in a judicial uh, situation, um, is your question, will you win? Yes, you've got the victory card and you've got the yes card. The anchor means yes. Hold on, okay? You're coming home to a safe haven. Stay where you are. You've put down your anchor and you're holding on. You're, you feel comfortable. There is a new beginning because you've got judgment. Judgment will be done and it, you will be the phoenix rising from the ashes. A new beginning. A second chance. It is time that you have this new beginning. You are right. You're not wrong. And you've got the lily. Again, an advisor. Luck in work, luck in business. Number 30 that becomes a three. Creativity. You are creative enough to gather the knowledge. Okay. Might be, have to go back to the place where it happened to wake up the old massa, the brain. Okay. So the lily means good luck at work or business. Well, it is business if you've got a judicial affairs or if you have to deal with municipalities. Uh, you'll be seeking advice from a mature man or a father figure, but you will be the winner. Victory is yours. I know what you're thinking, what is she doing now? Now I'm going to Metatron and Metatron. Go with the flow, paddle on. 42, 42, there you go. You're coming back in your strength, your balance. Just take your time, don't hurry, otherwise you have to repent in leisure. Okay, that is what I said to you. The swords might be quick, um, but the Aries, the fire signs, will take their time. They will think logically. There might even be two people that will be um, uh, sorting, uh, helping you uh, get answers. This could be an Aries. Like I said, you've got the fawn. You've got the fawn angel feather. Uh, over oh, difficulties resolved. The angels are present, okay, to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. Wow, wow, wow. You can eat nuts because that's a fawn color. That will also help you detox and get you back into your strength, rejuvenation. It's also protein. You can wear fawn or you can meditate on fawn. Okay, my darlings, I wish you the best of luck and don't uh, 
don't give up hang in there like the um, octopus is hanging onto the anchor uh, it is the new beginnings are coming the 10 an end a new beginning the ace victory a new beginning you've got the angels backing you because you've got number 11 here and number 11 here you've got the number 8 you're standing in your strength here again number 8 new beginnings difficulties will be resolved you will be the phoenix rising from the ashes I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please let me know whether you have. Please leave a reaction and I do appreciate it if you would like to share with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. Remember, together we stand strong. Love and light and I, I, I really do mean that. I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Ciao, ciao.